There are 2.7 million new HIV infections in 2010, including an estimated 390,000 among children. This was 15% less in 2001 and 21% below the number of new infections at the peak of the epidemic in 1997. The number of people dying of AIDS-related causes fell to 1.8 million in 2010. Um, so that's, I mean, I guess that's one positive sort of statistics that less people have been reported that less people are dying um, as opposed to before. So there's still a high number of people that are infected, but at least there's not as many people dying um, from the epidemic. Um, so that's good. Um, that's a slight, you know, slight improvement. Um, and like I said before, just some, some racial type of things. And this is according to 2009. Um, African Americans um, uh, make up 47.9. They is 47.9 percent of African Americans in the U.S. that have HIV, whereas we only make up 12 percent of the population. So that should really tell you something. It's a high number for us. For white people, it's 27 percent, and white people make up 65 percent of the U.S. population. So there, there's something wrong with that picture, right? 21% of Hispanic Latinos are diagnosed with HIV, and they make up 15% of the population. Asians, 1.2%, and they make up 4% of the U.S. population. American Indian Alaska, uh, Alaska Native are less than 1%. Um, Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander are also less than 1%, and mixed races are 2%. So, like I said, hey, black people, we got to do better.